Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of our Blue Bean Tips and Tricks series. I am Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants and today I want to talk to you guys about using the bookmarks tool to create a master table of contents for your project that makes it a lot easier for people to find the exact file and link to the exact file that you're looking for. So you can see that this particular document that I'm working in here is consists of 18 different sheets. And the naming and numbering of those sheets is pretty common in, in, in all of these individual drawings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bookmarks list. Just by going over here and I'm going to click on the create bookmarks button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my bookmarks based on page regions. Okay, And I'm going to create it across all of my pages. So I'm just going to choose page regions and do select. And then I'm going to zoom in here on my first sheet. Right? And the way that I want to label these, I want to have the, pro, uh, the drawing number followed by the drawing name. So the first area I'm going to click, I'm going to draw a rectangle around the space on my drawing that's going to contain my number. And you see that puts in region one, and I'm going to put a space, a dash, and a space, and I'm going to add a second region. And I'm just going to draw a box kind of around where these names would be on most of the drawings. And you see that it's reading the S001, right? and it's reading the general structural notes as my naming in those two regions. And then I can just go ahead and say, okay. And then I can choose if I wanted to filter this down and do only certain pages and so on. I could easily do that. But I'm just going to do the whole set and just go ahead and say, OK. And now what it's doing is it's going through every single one of these documents. Right? And it's looking in those areas on each of those plans. Right? So you see as I go in, you see I've got my, my roof framing details, my bracing elevation. See it read the numbers. I have one particular file here that didn't seem to have that label in there. But I can go back in and I can edit that one. Right? And I can rename that one manually to whatever I need it to be. All right, so if I want to call that was my, you know, S103, and I don't know what it is, but I'll call it uh, some plan. <laughs> but just to show you that if, if something gets missed or something wasn't labeled. All right, now you see what's nice here is that as I click on these, here within this document, I can go from point to point. That's okay, right? But I could do that. There are other ways I can do it by changing pages down here. I can use the thumbnails list. So people look at the bookmarks here and say, well, that's you know, an okay tool, Jim, but it doesn't really give me all that much benefit. You know, there are other ways I can jump from page to page in this document. And you're right. But here's what I truly love about this, all right, that using the bookmarks tool, now what I can do is I can take this list and I can export that bookmark, right? And I can save this out to wherever I want to save it, right? And I can put a bookmark suffix on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that in, the, in its default location. And you see that what it's done is it creates for me a master table of contents, a separate PDF file with hyperlinks to all of these. All right, so now I can actually go over here and I'll actually close out of that um, example structural set right, that I had open. And now you see here, this is just a standard PDF that I can go ahead and I can use in any other document. So if you just want to save this PDF in the root of your project directory, or if you want to integrate this bookmark summary into a report or into some kind of a uh, you know another PDF that you're sending to the boss or to the you know uh, project owner for review and you're worried about them being able to find where the files are how do I find them what folder are they in which page is it on they can just go right here and say oh I need to look at the bracing elevation sheet so you just click there and you see it opens the file and takes them right to the bracing elevation sheet okay so as they go in and say oh I need to look at the roof collar framing elevations there they are it's that easy to create a master table right? that gives you full links and full access to your entire project in one listed structure using the bookmarks tool inside of Bluebeam Review. It can be real useful. Hope that helps you guys. Have a good one.